Imagine the violin string as a circle. And with that circle, there are different angles where you can actually play on the string. And sautier happens to fall into that category where you have to really finesse how you approach the string. So it's not so much like a really linear kind of bow stroke, but you're actually going to be using a little bit of the curvature of the string to help you with sautier. And I'm gonna break down how you can do that. First, we have to establish that sautier is not an off the string stroke. In my opinion, I believe it's more so on the string because to be able to play faster passages, we wanna be able to have control over the bow as we play those fast passages and sautier is the right bow stroke for this. Spiccato is more of an off the string stroke that is controlled, but if you're playing faster passages, you may not be able to control the bow. You kinda of have to let the bow do its thing and sautier is the perfect candidate for these types of situations. Let's establish where the sautier should be happening. So in most cases, the balance point of the boat is gonna be in the lower half, particularly right over here. Oh, no, wait. So that's where our balance point is, and you're going to find the most success with sautier in this part of the bow, because that's where the balance point is, that's where the bounciest part of the bow is. And if you're gonna utilize this section, don't use a lot of bow. You're only going to use maybe like, maybe an inch, two inches of bow at max, because sautier, again, you're supposed to play sautier as a faster bow stroke. So you're not gonna be doing, doing sautier very slowly. Most of the time, you'll probably be doing like this. So let's break down the steps that I want you to think about when you go into sautier. So as I said before, this the bow stroke is not an angle this way. In my view, I believe it's kind of a curvature of the string. Now, in reality, it kind of is this kind of bow stroke down, up, down, up, if you kind of rewind and see how uh, how fast I'm playing. It kind of looks fast this way, but I find that if I teach students that way first, then they don't have success with the sautier bow stroke. And I just let the, the student to really find the curvature of the string while still playing the A, for instance. If I work on the A string and I'm working really closely um, with not touching other strings. So if I'm playing, I'm really gonna go faster. But sautier is just one part of the equation and playing with the balance point and making sure you have the curvature of the string. Those are just a couple of details, but if you wanna dive in more into bow strokes and sautier, I have a couple videos over here for you to take a look at.